Anyway, uh, so then I guess we can move on to uh, level Roomba level two, which is the same thing but bigger. Okay. Um, also, I think it might be wider than it is tall. I'm not sure. Um, so let's open up uh, Roomba level two. And I will switch to sharing that. Actually, could you uh, share your screen? Open up uh, Emacs and then share the Emacs window, and I can tell you how to open up the file. So I go Command Space Emacs. Yeah. To open and up the. Open it up. Search. Okay. Command space to open up the search. Spotlight, that's what it's called. Command okay. space to open up spotlight and then type Emacs. And then once Emacs is opened, I um, type what? Uh go ahead and share the Emacs window uh mm -hmm. once it's open. Um and you you can open it up by open up a file by typing stuff you can also open up a file by uh instead of typing stuff click on the there's a button up at the top that's uh that looks like a, a folder an opening folder next to uh a button at the top that looks like a page with a corner um folded over Yep. ASDFPY. Uh oh. Uh okay. So yeah. So you have it open. You clicked on that thing. Um, the window that that opens doesn't share with sure. me. So I so I don't know exactly what you're looking so at. There's um, ASDF.PY and then there's AF ASDF.PY squiggle. Uh, you want to go into your downloads directory if you know how to do that uh-huh and then in the downloads there should be a folder called Roomba main yes and then in there there should be a file called Roomba level 2.py okay so I think you can just double click on that and it'll okay cool uh, <laughs> cool um, so the very first thing we should do is actually um, a few of the lines have a space at the beginning of them uh, and nothing else on the line. So we should fix that. Um, so for example, the line, oh, I guess you can't really tell on the very first space. Um, but anyway, let's. Uh, we should be able to do uh, I think it was option, hold down option, and then tap X, and okay. then type, I think it's, yeah, it's white space, white One more. space, yeah, W-I-T-E-S-P-A-C-E, -E, dash, cleanup, and then hit enter. Um, cool. And then now the the white spaces should be removed from the beginning of the lines. Um, okay, so then uh, let's just run it the way that it is. Um, so for you to run it, um, open up. How did you run it before? I think you used idle. Is that right? That... that doesn't sound familiar. Hmm. We could try it. Oh, no. We ran it from a shell. That's right. Uh, so, do... Uh, so, in Emacs, mm -hmm. go, go ahead and click on the type typing area, and then do okay. uh, Control-X. Uh, okay. Hit undo. Uh, uh, control X. Whoops. 
Yeah. Um, hit the undo button in the upper right. There's an undo like arrow pointing back. Ooh. Yeah, and then do it one more time. Okay, cool. Control X. Yeah, hold down okay. Control, tap X. Yeah, and then hit two. Cool. And now type uh, Option X, shell, and then hit Enter. Yep. Cool. Now you should be able to type Python space, uh, what was it? Roomba. Uh, I guess actually before typing that, you could just type ls and then hit enter. And then you can see all the different files there are in the current directory. And then type Python space Roomba underscore level two dot pi. And when I do that, I get a much bigger window. Uh, no module named pill. Oh, okay. So the very first thing you're going to have to do is activate the mini conda environment. Uh, conda help. Let's see what that does. Hey, that looks like it's does stuff. Is there a conda activate or something? We're doing like a a mishmash between what Aaron does and what I do. Okay. Conda. Huh. Oh, Conda Env. Available. Conda Env. Conda sounds familiar. Env list. Yeah. Type C O N D A space E N V space L I S T. And then I will real quick. Okay, say that again. C O N D A space E N V space l-i-s-t um, creating an environment updating an environment cloning activating an environment there we go um, so you have one called danny underscore roomba so let's i'm not seeing it but let's try just conda space activate space danny underscore Underscore Roomba. And then hit enter. Cool. Okay. Now you should be able to do uh, type ls again to get the names of all the files. And then type python space Roomba underscore level 2 dot pi. And that hopefully will bring up the right environment. Cool. Ah. Did it did it open up a window for you? Oh, it sure did. Cool. And then if it's you huge. close that window, it should yeah. So notice while the window was open, um, mm -hmm. the so go ahead and uh, type Python Roomba level two dot pi again. So don't. Don't click on it. Actually type it out at the bottom. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly last time. I know that y y there was like clicking on it seemed to kind of work, but kind of not. And I'm not, I don't really know exactly what is happening there. Okay. My turtle's in the top left. Um, cool. Uh, while that window exists, notice um, back in the terminal in the shell, um, y y it doesn't say uh, the prompt, so the it doesn't like it doesn't look like the normal thing where you start typing a command. Okay. Like, where you typed in Python room Python Roomba and it's it had the blue text on a to blank the left line. Of it. Yeah. So yeah. that uh that means that the last command that you entered is still running. So as long as that window oh. is open. 
that command is still running. If you close okay. that window, then you'll get back that uh, another blue line where you could type out a command again. Go ahead and okay. do that. Close the window. The window that popped up, yeah. Uh, yep. And then type, um, so now you're back at a, a place where you can type stuff. Mm -hmm. 